Tiffany Haddish has been back in the headlines. This week she dropped a new trailer for her movie Like a Boss which is set to hit theaters January 10th 2020 and she also made an appearance on Chelsea Handler's new Netflix documentary Hello Privilege It's Me Chelsea. Now in case you missed it last month she also dropped the Netflix comedy series Tiffany Haddish Presents They Ready where she showcased six up-and-coming comedians giving each an opportunity to display their comedic talents in front of the world. Now in the beginning of her big break thanks to Girls Trip it seemed that the black community loved and discussed everything she would do but lately we've noticed a decline in that original support that celebrated Haddish's moves. So we ask here at Comedy Hype has Tiffany Haddish lost the black audience? I like her work. I respect her story. You know, she came from nothing. I get that. What pisses me off with Tiffany Haddish, because she makes me mad, and I think, in my opinion, the final straw for people was when she took that chicken on the Met Gala. Red carpet. That, that, that was just, it was one uncalled for. You know, I think black people are tired of the, the buck dancing, the shenanigans. You know, the, the chicken on the red carpet, the wearing the Alexander McQueen dress over and over and over. Like, hey, look, I'm wearing this dress again because I ain't used to nothing. I ain't never had a $4,000 dress on. I'm going to wear it again and again and again. You know, what is wrong with that? What is, I mean, if you think about it, listen, if I spend four grand on the dress, I promise you I'm going to get the wears out of it as well. And so would everybody else. But because Tiffany Haddish is in the spotlight, we expect her to put on this show, this behavior. So my thing is... No, we expect her not to represent us in a poor manner. You know, stop, 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 um, stop driving that narrative as if like all black women are loud or we're ghetto, or we love our chicken. And you know what? I like this chicken so much, I can't leave home without it. So Tiffany, I'm gonna take it on the red carpet in my purse. Tiffany, like, Haddish, Tiffany Haddish is a comedian. She thought it was funny. You may not have thought it was funny. A lot of other people may not have thought it was funny. It was funny. It, it drove stories. It gave her attention. That's what she wanted. What did y'all want her to do? Go on and, and behave for the, for the man? And I, I think that's what I hear when people criticize her because the level that she's at. That's what I hear. She's not behaving right. She said she was going to expose who bit Beyonce. You know, it's like, so what? She probably, she probably is loud. She probably do talk a lot. What, what is it that people want? Do you want her to be authentic and true to herself? Or just because she has two million more dollars than you and the rest of everyone else that's criticizing her has? Just because she has millions of more dollars than you all, she's supposed to act right to your satisfaction. You know what? I'm going to give Tiffany Haddish more credit than being a person that carry around chicken in their purse. Or being a person that, um, you know, it's this every single opportunity she gets, she reminds people that I was, ooh, the great white man came and saved me. I was once poor. You know, and now Hollywood gave me this opportunity. I'm so thankful. Even, let me tell you, I watched her in the Chelsea Handler documentary, right? Mm -hmm. Chelsea Handler asked her, what is it that I can tell white people about white privilege? She was asking her and Kevin Hart, you know, what is it as far, what, what was the question she asked? She asked her, do you think you've had to work harder, harder. than white people? Than white people. Right. And Tiffany Haddish answered that question to the best of her ability. She asked, do you think you have to work harder than white people? At this moment, her and Kevin Hart looked at each other as if they, neither one of them had to, wanted to answer the question. Then Kevin Hart laughed and looked at Tiffany and said, why that face? Tiffany said, I mean, because it's so much I want to say, but I just don't know if it's appropriate. What you mean it's so much you want to say, but you don't know if it's appropriate? Why not? And then she went on to say, you know, Y'all know where y'all come from. We don't know if we come from kings, queens, farmers. We don't. Yes, we do, Tiffany. A lot of black people know we kings and queens, sis. Jeez. You don't know. if you... Look, just because you might not know that you're a king or a queen, don't speak up for all the black people like we don't know if we come from kings or queens. This generation, Tiffany, we're woke. We know we're kings and queens. That's the problem. You're too woke. No, no. That's the problem. Speak that was her opportunity. That. that was her opportunity to... Speak up, sis. This is your moment. And to me, she dropped the ball. She didn't put Amanda Seals in that seat. 
She didn't put Monique in that seat. You want to know why? Because Monique would have said, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Y'all have it easier than us, sister. I'm going to tell you why Amy Schumer is making this on that seat. <laughs> she knew to put Tiffany Haddish in that seat. Tiffany Haddish dropped the ball in that moment, and I was upset. I was upset because I say, you going to sit here in front of this white woman and say you don't know if you come from kings or queens? Tiffany Haddish probably don't know my thing. So here, here's my thing. I'm, I'm giving Tiffany Haddish more, more credit than that. Tiffany Haddish, y'all are holding her to a standard and not understanding where she come from. She's speaking her truth. She's living in her truth. Just because she's not doing it the way you want her to doesn't take credit away from how she's carrying herself. This lady had to raise her own brothers and sisters. We, she, we went heard, from false, we she went from foster home to foster home. And for her to get to where she is now, that's, that's, an, an, amazing enough, thing. that's, an, enough, that. that's an enough an example for me. I don't have to go by what you say, sis. I'm following your actions. That inspires me. One day I don't feel like doing something. I'm like, hell, if Tiffany Haddish can do it and she was living out her car, why can't I get my ass up and go and do this? You know what? And I get what, what? you're doing. You're, you're 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 doing the whole devil's advocate thing. I'm, I'm, you can't I'm sit here and tell. You can't sit here and tell. So it doesn't upset you that Tiffany Haddish, who's pretty much at the top of. I mean, we can say as a black comedian, Tiffany Haddish is probably the most successful. We can say that. I wouldn't say the most successful. I would say she's the face of it. Right she's now. at the top, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're at the top, that comes with an obligation. I would say in this day and age. An obligation put, to speak for you? No, an obligation to put black women in a positive light. The thing is, I say this because I'm a fan of Tiffany. I like where, what she's doing. I like her work, but she does upset me. And I think that was the last straw for black people. I think pe black people have checked out on Tiffany Haddish. Well, Tiffany Haddish has addressed all of this. And once again, sis, sis is okay in her skin. Be, of course, it probably bothers her a little bit, but she's okay in her skin. She did uh, say in a, in a recent interview, she said, I think a lot of black men talk mess because I inspire black women to be great, to be themselves. And they're like, ah, I can't control her anymore. Tiffany Haddish, you ruined this for me, ah. That's how she feels. So she feels like it's the men. It's the black men who, who's upset that she's herself because they feel like she's not putting on an act for anybody. She's going to be herself. If she wanted to wear that dress over and over and over again, how many times have you worn that blouse? I say this out of love for Tiffany Hash because I am a fan of her work. However, the buck dancing, it just has to stop. It has to stop at some point. And she had an opportunity on Chelsea Handler's documentary to, she, she literally lets herself not be taken serious. You think she's living in her truth or do you think she's exaggerating to the 1000th power? I think she's living in her truth. I really believe the girl don't know any better. Let us know in the comments below. Is the black audience tired of Tiffany Haddish antics? Until next week, it's CJ and Sade with Comedy Hype News.